Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a runtime error code R6025 pure virtual function call. And again, like I said, it's a runtime error. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you should have to do here is open up the web browser of your choice. Type in Microsoft Net Framework 3.5. Go ahead and search for that. And you want to go right to the Microsoft domain here. This is Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5. And go ahead and select the download button. And then once that's done, go ahead and run the file to open it up. And then go ahead and open up the file to run it. And then select Yes. Select Download and install this feature if it requires any additional features in here. Okay, so once it's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. Okay, so hopefully I was able to resolve the issue. If not, something else we can try here as well. Actually, a couple things, but the next thing I'd recommend on our list here would be to open up a command prompt. So type in CMD into the search menu. Right-click on the best match, which is say command prompt, and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. Okay, so again, hopefully I should have resolved the problem. If you are still having an issue, we can try just turning off Net Framework 3.5 altogether. In order to do that, you just would search for it in the search menu. Now, Windows Features. Best result, you should come back with Turn Windows Features On or Off. Go ahead and click on that. 
There should be something that says Net Framework 3.5 includes .NET 2.0 and 3.0. Go ahead and make sure that box is completely empty so it's just white, there's nothing inside of it. And then select OK. And then once that's done, click on Close. And hopefully, once again, that should have resolved the problem. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do be able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.